Hello, Internet friends. Welcome to the Legion Alpha Beta coverage. First look, summary, first pass. All those things of the Demonology Warlock, brand new to Legion. Now, right off the bat, please, this spec has changed a ton. I probably did about four hours of testing. If you want to watch the VODs of those, those are on my Twitch channel. They're both linked, as are two parts, on my channel guide exclamation point guide in my Twitch chat or the channel guide button on my Twitch page. A lot of things to test, show, look at. I will try <clears throat> that big swallow there because there's a lot of things to go over. I will try to show everything. I really will, but too much to show off here. I'll show off some spell animations and things real quick and then I'll go over a lot of stuff that's happening here just to show you what things look like. So I'll show you what the Inquisitor looks like. There he is. Him and his Shadow Frost Volley. He's one of your new level 100 talents. He only attacks things for 18 seconds on a 24 second cooldown with one Soul Shard cost that has been debuffed by Doom. He will not target things. See, he's not shooting anymore. Doom has to be on the target. So you saw what I did there. I actually have a talent called Hand of Doom where your Hand of Gold... Stop attacking. Where your... Stop. The pet AI is so broken. Or they, um, he's still trying to attack. Look at him. Where your hand of Gul'dan now also applies doom to all affected enemies hit. So that works really well with the Inquisitor. I'll do it again real quick here. Here's him. Boop. And then I'll cast him really far away because he has a, a 40 yard range. Woo. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Oh, I didn't cast doom. Ha <laughs> ha There he goes. And of course you can demonically empower him as well. So he will cast faster. But you saw me show off right there, Demonic Empowerment. That's sort of the new bread and butter for the demo demonology, demonology, de demons, 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 demonology warlock. Summon demons and buff them. So your only actual passives here are Soul Link, where 20% of all damage taken is split with your demon pet. So it is actually physically 20% of the damage you would take goes right to your pet. And then you are healed for 10% of all, you, all of you and your damage uh, you deal. You heal yourself for 10%, and you heal your demon for 40% of all the damage you deal. So, it's sort of like you're, you heal yourself for a little bit more. This also works with uh, Fell Armor, where you have 10% more stamina and you heal yourself for more. So, 10% of the damage you deal will then technically heal you, but then is amped by 10 more percent for your self-healing. So, this is your sustain, and because you'll have to use Life Tap as the Demonology Warlock, so that'll how it's, you heal yourself back up. Your only other real passive is your mastery, of course, which is the uh, your demonic empowerment, not just a passive. Your demonic empowerment also increases the damage of your demons by a percentage, right? You also have that's it, right? Soul Link, Fell Armor, Mastery. These are all these other ones are for talents, right? That's all your basics. Uh, your self ending resolve as your only DR or damage reduction cooldown. A three minute cooldown here. It still looks pretty cool. I think it's the same animation on, on live, right? With the, the cool winged demon wrappery things. Your only other damage reduction cooldown would be Dark Pact. Dark Bargain is gone. Gone. You also have Burning Rush and Demonic Circle in the same tier, however, as Dark Pact for your DRs. So you gotta be careful on if you have planned movement. If you need to move a lot around, you know, and have a, a sprint, per se, or Dark Pack, which is a huge shield that takes 20% of your current demon's health to shield you for 400% of the sacrificed health. So there it goes right the woo. Right now, by this current HP, it's 129,000 shield. It's almost like half of your effective HP currently. Now, this should be working. The other aspect of how uh, Demonic Empowerment works, which has a short cast time, 12 second recharge, three charges, and it always prefers stronger demons first, which I'll get into more later. But you empower three of your active demons with Dark Energy, you increase their haste and health by 50%. So this would make Dark Pack stronger. I'll only bring this up because I was trying to test it on stream and it doesn't work. Uh, the current HP bonus you get from Dark, it doesn't work. Like he's, he's at full health. It doesn't give him the HP. He'll attack faster. His HP, his, his energy will regen as well. Um, energy regen right now is like buggy because of like the pet AI nonsense. But he doesn't get the HP bonus. But that's where you see the damage dealt increase is from your mastery. So that will change based on your mastery stat. The haste and health is always going to be there. But that is your main 
focus with the demonology sec. You are a summoner now. You are summoning demons. You are empowering your demons. The only maintenance you do, really, is you have to keep Doom up. Because Doom will generate a soul shard when it deals damage. And it also will do damage after 20 seconds by default. It's at 16 right now because of my haste. Uh, all your other talents are still... Or your talents. Your spells are still here for, like, synergy. Like, you still have health funnel. And you obviously still have life tap because you have to life tap. You still have soul stone and ritual of summoning. And I have killer rog and fear. And all your demon summons are still, you know, on the same little pan here. Demonology Warlock's probably going to use Felguard default. Like, you'll use Felguard as your main ability here. Drain life, enslave, demon, create soul will, create health stone, right? Banish, demonic gateway. Those are all still here. Demonic gateway's cooldown, however, or uh, debuff cooldown on the person, has been increased to two minutes, which I believe is an increase. It's just 90 seconds on live. It used to be really short, but now it's a solid two minute cooldown uh, right now in Legion. So. Really make sure if you're using a strat with Demonic Gateway, you're using it when you need to use it, because two-minute cooldown is a pretty big deal. But that's everything else that's still baked into the class. It's still all here. Like your pet log is still here with the specs they can use or the abilities they can use, right? Fellstorm is still on your command demon button. Command demon, which would normally become whatever you need to do for your key ability, right? So spell lock is still here for your fell hunter, uh, whiplash, suffering, and cauterized master for your other four demons as well. But uh, by default, it's turned off. You can't actually make it self-cast this, so you have to make sure you cast your own Felstorm, which, of course, you can empower your demon to get a super good Felstorm in there. I don't know why he... The pet AI is so goofy. But there he is, spinning next to me. Yeah, I know you're doing a great job. Thanks. But let me rotate through some more talents here, and then I'll start casting some more stuff. Um, your only real cooldowns, as you may know from your other talents, um, which change a little bit, but your other... I think they're specs, right? So Affliction is the same thing. Uh, Doom Guard and Infernal are a three-minute cooldown. They are mutually exclusive. You can only have one of them out every three minutes. So you can Doom Guard. Three minutes later, you can Infernal, right? I will show you right now the two. I have Grimoire of Service currently enabled. I'll up over here to Servitude. Am I in combat, really? Oh, the pet's in combat. I'll come over here to Servitude. Now, Servitude means you can have a permanent Doom Guard or have a permanent Infernal. So yes, this means I can summon an Infernal. I can have that infernal go attack, and then I can summon. Get in there. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna attack something? There's a doom. Go, go attack with doom. Go, boy, go. And uh, you can summon another infernal in if you're doing AOE or, or single target or whatever. Can I have a soul shard, please? Attack that target. What are you doing? Pet AI am any course. You can demonically empower. Rah! Big old. Rah. The one you summon randomly is a larger one for whatever reason, and the one that's your pet is the smaller one. But they're, they're, they're going to town, aren't they? Woo! But I'm not sure. Demonic Servitude, Grimoire of Service looks pretty good for single target. It gives you a burst cooldown. You can summon uh, an extra Doom Guard for a burst cooldown or an extra Infernal for an AoE cooldown. I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it or not, really. Because your mastery and how powerful Demonic Empowerment is is all about your Demon's damage. So Grimoire of Service... Oh, it's on cooldown. That's right. But Grimoire of Service is just 20% more health and damage as a passive to your pet only. Only your pet. Not your summon demons, not your imps, not your um, fell beast, your dreadstalkers, but just your own demon. And then Doom Bolt here, which I will swap to now, does 30% more increased damage for all the demons you have. So I've been talking about how you're supposed to summon a lot of demons, right? This whole spec is about summoning demons. So let me summon my own demon real quick. Let me get my fell guard up here. And he'll go into town. I'll put some Doom up. And I will start summoning demons. As the spec suggests the summoning. We'll build up to five combo points here. Or five soul shards. Whatever you want to call them. We'll summon our Dreadstalkers. We'll summon our Hand of Gul'dan. Improperly, of course. Then we'll empower all of these guys. There we go. So the imps spawn like in the target right now. Which is incorrect. If you want to see all the different bugs I have found for this spec, please go to the description box in the YouTube video. I have linked all those down below for you. But, yeah, summon demons and empower demons, right? Boom. Demons, demons, demons. You can use uh, Hand of Gul'dan at lower shards, but you only get as many demons as you spend shards on. So, one shard is one imp. Five, uh, four shards, up to four shards is four imps. So, empower those all. You can spam multiple empowerments to get your imps empowered, 
But as again, demonic empowerment only empowers your most recent, uh, not most recent, but most powerful pets, sorry. Um, you might have saw there that when I summoned my Dreadstalkers, they had imps in the back of them. That is the improved Dreadstalker talent here. Where an imp will ride the back of the Dreadstalkers. So you get two Dreadstalkers for the normal cost, and then you get two extra wild imps. It's pretty cool that they uh, synergize. Apparently I was told that your artifact gives you one extra Dreadstalker summon, so you'll get three imps for this talent. Uh, impending Doom means what your Doom ex uh, does damage, you get imps. So I will put up three dooms here real quick, and the imps will spawn at me. I'm going to try to drop combat so the imps actually spawn to me. Otherwise, they would spawn in the mob, which is just the pathing or, or pet AI is so goofy right now. Again, video description box for my uh, full bug report that I'll be sending over to Blizzard. So yeah, there's my imps. There are my imp babies. And then if you start attacking, they'll, they'll of course attack. So I did do a lot of testing on Demon Bolt. It does seem to scale just fine. Every one demon you have summoned increases the damage by 30%. So every one imp, every two Dreadstalkers, every additional wild imp on the Dreadstalker, every one from Impending Doom, your personal pet, uh, if you have a service pet up as well, everything infects Demon Bolt. But Demon Bolt is only for a single target, right? So Inquisitor is your AoE choice most likely, your AoE in Cleave. Demonic Servitude could be if you just want to have a super powerful pet, depending on how numbers work out. And I'll go over Grimoire of Synergy. It's a 1 PPM, but we tested that when you deal damage, you'll buff your pet. I mean, your pet deals damage, he buffs you by 15% for 15 seconds. But it's 1, one proc per minute. It just it, This is the most lackluster talent, I think, next to Soul Harvest, which is the same for the other specs as well. Where it's just a two-minute cooldown for a two a two-second base cast, hastened by haste, of course, to give you five soul shards. I don't know how, but I'll show you in a minute why this even matters. It's just kind of like, okay, I can refill my soul shards really quickly, but I don't know how important it's going to be. Otherwise, then Hand of Doom making uh, Hand of Gul'dan, which AOEs put up AOE Doom, which will give you back soul shards for all the dooms popping, or give you impending Doom imps, right? But Power Trip. Make sure demonic empowerment affect all of your active demons. So, it, otherwise it only does three, right? It only does three demons normally, but this way you will get all of your demons empowered by one click. So I just summon two imps. There's two imps here, two uh, fell stalkers, and my pet. So this is more than three, all empowered. So, uh, with what Power Trip would do. I don't know it, how it's going to scale, because Power Trip just makes so much sense. I mean, this tier right here is all about... This one here on your top tier is all about, like, just shard synergy. But Power Trip seems really good. It just makes your mastery so much more impactful. But we'll have to see how that works out in the end. To back up real quick, you are seeing that Demon Bolt, which replaces Shadow Bolt, does give you one soul shard per use. That is how you build your soul shards now. Is Shadow Bolt or Demon Bolt gives you one soul shard. And all you have left to really manage is Doom. And Hand of Gul'dan, one to four shards. It says up to five wild imps. It might be just a typo, right? But it's one, two, three, or four shards is one, two, three, or four imps. Now, I was told with the artifact, crit Gul'dans give you double. So that's like a lot of imps. But um, right now, they burst forth from like the initial hit of the meteor. But they're supposed to like spawn at the warlock or at least spawn around the target because you can't see your imps, really. Because why you want to see your imps is because maybe for implosion by chance. So implosion uh, sucks all of your wild imps toward the target and then causes them to violently explode, dealing shadow flay damage to all nearby targets. So this is kind of hard to show and test right now because the imps like don't move properly. But if I do a four stack here, summon four imps that are on this mob right there, that they're all in its body. And if I tell them to blow up on this dummy, they just like, they don't move, they just kind of go, and they just die, right? But they're supposed to, like, kamikaze into the target, but it doesn't really work right now because of pet AI and spawning nonsense, so we'll have to see how that works in the future. Um, what else is here? Soul Leech is still here, only works on Shadow Bolt. Does not work on Demon Bolt right now, bugged. Mortal Coil is still here, it's your old school Death Coil, it's your Flea, your, your Fear, and plus the heal. And Shadow Fury now, a controversial change based on what people were saying in chat, um, is now is it still a stun, but it's a cast time. 1.5 second cast time base. It's faster with haste right now, though. 
So Shadow Fury has a cast time. Which I'm not sure it should, but PvP nerf, I guess. It doesn't really matter for PvP, PvE very much. But um, Shadow Inspiration, which I was showing off there, whenever you cast a Hand of Gul'dan, actually, you get a Insta-Cast Shadow Bolt or an Insta-Cast Demon Bolt. It says Demonic Impoundment right now. It's supposed to be uh, working on Gul'dan. It's just a tooltip error. Shadow Flame is here, but it's not the... Um, can, I, can you get a combat, please? There we go. Shadow Flame is not the Frontal Cone weirdness it used to be. It is sort of people told me how Hand of Gul'dan works on live right now. So it's a instant cast, 14 second recharge dot that generates one soul shard. Right? Pretty simple, okay? And it ticks uh, five times normally. So one, two, three, four, right? Oh, so four, four times initial hit plus the four. Um, but five overall pieces of damage. However, you can clip this buff, this dot to actually gain a whole lot more out of it. So I'm going to refresh here at one second. I'll go to two stacks, and you'll see that I'm actually gonna have the cooldown up to refresh before this falls off. I'll go to three stacks, and you can't go to four. It's impossible right now to go to four. I don't think it's ever going to be possible, but it stacks, look, it keeps going. The damage doesn't like ignite and fall off. So you went from four ticks, right, normally, when Shadow Flame has some weird, like, it carries over the last tick. So you get one, two, three. That fourth tick doesn't expire. It gets refreshed and gets buffed by the two stack. So you get one, two, three. This fourth stack of the two stack doesn't expire. Gets refreshed. Gets pushed forward into the three stack. You get one, two, three, four for the final amount. But then that one extra tick that never technically happened earlier goes right here. Right? Ends at the end, right? So you get... 14 ticks of Shadow Flame if you weave it versus four ticks in the initial attack. But it's such a high demand. You're always you're gonna be spamming demon bolts or shadow bolts. You're gonna be summoning your dreadstalkers every 12 seconds. Um, which I didn't try to show the tooltip for Dreadstalker, which just summons two ferocious dreadstalkers who attack your target for 12 seconds, 15 second cooldown. But there, there's so much happening with the Demonology Warlock where you're 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 summoning your demons here. You're dropping your demon bolts here. You're summoning your dreadstalkers here. You're empowering all your demons again. You're making sure you cast doom. I, no cooldowns. You get to make sure you're casting all this stuff. You're, you're demon bolting again. So like weaving in the um, the, uh, the 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 freaking the shadow flame. Like to me, I don't play a warlock, so it, like it boggles my mind how to make all this happen. See, I just messed up the cast time there. There we go. There. There's those. I have to do one more cast here. There's one Shadow Flame there, but there's here's a, a Gul'dan, here's an Empower, here's a Spin to Win, here's a here's a Doom, here's another... Like, it, it, it's, it is a Zoo spec. And for me, being a, a noob playing this spec and learning it for the first time, it's pretty intense on, like, the how much micromanagement you need to, to build in here, and, like, when to keep putting up Demonic Empowerments, and, and how often to cast Demonic Empowerments, and to make sure you have the shards to cast your Dreadstalkers, and... As I see it, it's a little bit overwhelming for me to understand. I'm sure once you get some weak ores and some tell me whens and some some buff tracking stuff, you could probably maintain it pretty well with like your doom up time and your demonic empowerment up time and your dreadstalker cooldown and your building shards with shadow bolt or doom bolt to uh, demon bolt rather to summon your hand of Gul'dan, right? And shadow flame just like it feels like it's there for movement, but it could be game for single target. Your other option here is demonic calling, which gives your shadow bolt or demon bolt a 10% chance to make your next call D or Dreadstalkers free. So it's a shard management by either giving you shards, giving you two free ones, and this buff lasts like forever, by the way. It's kind of passive. This buff lasts forever when it procs that there's no way you wouldn't have, if it procced, free Dreadstalker summons, which we'll have to see now when it goes. Can we please get a 10% chance? 10% chance. But it lasts for 20 seconds when it procs. So whenever you get your next cooldown up for your Dreadstalkers, you're going to have the um, the proc for it. Of course, now that I'm testing it live and recording, it's not going to proc. Um, yeah, it's not going to do anything. This would be a longer than 20-minute video, by the way, which I don't like doing. But there's so much to show off here. There it goes. See? 20 seconds. So whenever you have this, you're going to save your two shards. Like, you won't... 
costs you two shards to summon your so a four stack hand of Gul'dan plus Dreadstalkers that are already going to be cast there. Empower all of that, right? Go to town, get in there, do all your your juicy goodness again with Power Trip. You're going to not only empower your pet and your Dreadstalkers, but all the wild imps that just spawned. The two on the back with empowered Dreadstalkers and the four on the ground. So there's just a lot of it's. It feels cool to me like outside looking in that you're like oh my god you and a pet and here and demons and debuffs and demons and debuffs and power my demons up and debuffs and demons but it feels it's it's incredibly hard to manage on alpha right now the, the the beta build here there's no it shows up on the bottom of your character screen when you have your dreadstalkers out and your imps out and if you have your inquisitor out it shows him as well but that's really tough like in this default format if you don't have like a leak or a bar or a pop-up or something that shows you what you're casting or what your cooldowns are, all this kind of stuff. So it's funny, uh, Pyromancer on Twitter actually said that it's going to take like more micromanagement in weak auras and tell me when's to manage the new demonology warlock than the current. But again, it's just, it's summoning pets. It's not like a weird metamorphosis in and out phase, right? It's just summon pets, keep them buffed, keep summoning pets uh, or demons in this case and just keep the train rolling, right? It's just like non-stop, just like demons and cooldowns and soul shards into demons, into cooldowns, into buffing. It's just this repetitive cycle. Your only AOE default here, which is a little bit hard to describe, is uh, Demon Wrath. So this just makes all of your current active demons pulse three times over the duration, uh, which is a very short cast. It's a very short channel, costs a ton of mana, but this is the still effect for it. But this does not, like, stack. If you have 50 demons on a boss, the boss only gets hit by Demon Wrath three times. It just means that the more demons you have spread out around or on different targets, you can have more targets being hit by Demon Wrath over large periods of time. And then each time Demon Wrath deals damage, it's a 15% chance to generate a soul shard, which I was told it's per target hit. So if I'm hitting three targets here right now with just my my Felguard, I should be actually getting a 45% chance, you know, per tick to gain a Soul Shard. I got one there. None. None. There's one. Right? Not a huge chance, but it doesn't, like, stack with more and more and more and more and more demons. There is, like, a cap, right? There's a ceiling. Because it only ticks three times, but if anyone's affected by Demon's Wrath, it will tick on them. But, whew, I don't, I don't like dragging these videos out much longer than 20 minutes, but um, there's a lot that changed with this spec, and I probably missed something, I'm sure, and I went a little crazy all over the place, but if you enjoyed this preview, or if you want to watch the rest of it and what I have coming up, hit that like button. It helps me out a great deal. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right here and check out all the other coverage I am doing. Again, my channel guide has everything organized. The VOD is linked in the description box. The bug report and things that are not working, description box. This is a crazy spec. It is a zookeeper spec. If you like summoning stuff and high maintenance uptimes on like this buff and that buff and this pet and that pet and a very dynamic like you're putting things on the board type of way, that's the demonology. I'm going to go take a nap. And I will see you all in the next summary video.